Well, we're going to tactics that are far beyond now. Master Guide Dan Evans doing what he does best. <laughs> Eating and thinking. <laughs> What's the newest plan? We've got to hunt for a few more days before we kill him. Oh. Make it seem right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Well, it's the 8th of September today, and we've been down here for over two weeks. We got here a week early to scout, and we've been holding out for a big bull. We've seen quite a few bulls, although it has been fairly tough. I um, was looking for a bull that would be for sure over 350 anyway. But anyway, last night we got into this nasty canyon down here. We're backpacked down in here, and... and we heard a bull with a really weird voice, and wouldn't you know it, right at dark, we called him clear across this big canyon, and he came all the way in, and ended up within 15 yards, probably 12 yards from us, but it was just a little too dark to shoot, So, and I wasn't sure, because he obviously wasn't a 350 class bull, 
but I was watching through my binoculars at 15 yards in the near dark, and I noticed this antler. And I thought, man, that is something else. I, I haven't seen very many antlers like that. I mean, obviously, there's there's been bulls with oddities killed, but you don't see them very often. And so anyway, we didn't spook him, really. He, he ended up leaving, and we pulled back out of there, went back to our little spike camp down in the canyon here. And I thought about that all last night. We heard him bugling a little bit from camp, and I thought, you know, I want a better look at that odd horn. And if it's at all, as odd as I thought it, thought it was I think I'm gonna to try to get him so anyway this morning we headed up the ridge here and sure enough we heard him bugling again on the other side he wasn't bugling very much and he was a lot more timid this morning I think his little encounter with us last night um, made him wonder a little bit anyway he picked up a couple cows overnight and we ended up having a circle ahead of him the cows went around the ridge and the bull was he would bugle a little bit but he wasn't coming to us and so we circled around following the cows and popped over the ridge and the bull was still coming past us and so Jared was running the camera and he had to stand up and hand hold the camera to be able to see over the ridge but anyway the bulls coming through I had zapped a, a little tree with a rangefinder and it was pretty steep downhill the bull came in right behind that little tree and I cow called as you see on the video stopped him and made the shot as it turns out the shot hit him perfect 